Hello, welcome to my first FSX tutorial today. I want to show you guys how to make an Airbus A320 Neo for free and without uh, doing a lot of work and without paying any money. It's for free. So uh, first thing you have to do is to download some stuff from these three websites. And uh, f for those of you who know Fibe, uh, no, this is not a tutorial on how to um, how to make an AI aircraft. This is actually an aircraft you can fly on your own. So I wanted to download uh, this aircraft first. This A320 Condor Sunny Heart package. It's actually not a package, it's one aircraft. And uh, this aircraft is not um, something you have to download, but it's nice to have it because it has a very uh, very nice virtual cockpit. It's a little bit edited. It's not the very default one from the A321 and there are more than uh, one aircraft having that cockpit but I know that this one has it for sure so you want to download this one from Simviation just type in Condor or Condor Sunny Heart over here and if you type in Condor page 3 will uh, show you this uh, this aircraft you want to download that then you want to go to uh, Rico I don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> correctly and go to uh, FSX, airplanes, and uh, to Boeing. Actually, Boeing. And you want to download the uh, FSX TDS Boeing 787 Mega Pack, or you can download a uh, sound package for the uh, actual A320 Neo. But I just use the 787 sound because uh, I already had the uh, 787 pack downloaded and I just copied the, the sound folder to have a realistic A320 Neo sound but you can also use the uh, the one from, I don't know which website was that uh, just type in uh, A320 Neo sounds FSX in uh, Google and you will find it and the third thing you will need is the base pack for the Fipe Airbus and this has also the uh, Neo versions in it so that's pretty much it. These three things are going to be used. And once you've downloaded all the stuff, you have uh, these three folders right here. So this is your aircraft folder. You can already rename that. That doesn't do anything than just show you what aircraft it is. Let's call it Lufthansa A320 Neo because I will be using a A320 Neo texture for Lufthansa. And when you go into the aircraft folder, you have a model, panel, sound, texture, effects, aircraft config. For those of you who don't know what it's, uh, what a aircraft actually looks like in a folder, and this is pretty much it. So you want to go to model, and there are. Uh, model config, a interior and a yeah, sort of outerior model. And what you want to do is we're going to go to your FIPE A320 and uh, go to the FSX version and you want to have a look at the uh, texture you yeah, download first because normally there is a, a sort of a hint which model you should use with it and uh, this is already uh, the first problem coming up because if there's no modeling you have to guess and you have to put uh, some some random model and try it out in FSX but I think for this one it was um, actually not the original A320 Neo model it was which one? <laughs> Not EIA. Well, uh, normally you would you would then use your PW model here with the FE20 new stuff, and I already have this aircraft done in uh, the in the flight sim. So let me have a look at what I put into the in the model, what was in the texture because it was not the normal. It was the CFML NWF model. CFMLWF. 
this one. So if you ha want to have the Lufthansa texture, you're going to use this model. You just got to copy that into this folder and you want to delete this one. You don't use that anymore. And now you go to the model config of your Lufthansa A320. By the way, you don't need this one anymore. You are done with that. And then you go to your model config and edit. If you have with Notepad, I highly recommend Notepad. It's a, it's a great editing software. But if you don't have it, you just use the editor. And then you want to change something here. You gonna go to um, search for normal and normal equals you're gonna completely delete what's written there and you just write this uh, model name in here so you're gonna write f f and you have to um, watch out for caps lock or something like that otherwise this won't work a320 s FML and WF. So this is um, all you have to do. You don't have to type model because it's a model. And then you gotta save it and close it. So you're done with the model. So next thing to do is to delete the default texture folder included and copy your, uh, not, not the texture, not the texture, the sound, the sound folder and put the sound of your TDS 787 or your A320neo if you have it into the aircraft folder um, and then you want to go to the texture and you can pretty much rename that one to just texture, there ha don't have to be anything they just texture. And here's a lot of stuff you won't need anymore. You can delete all of the texture needed for the Eros A320. Just gonna delete all the stuff and all this stuff except everything that's not called A320. If there's A321 you're just gonna keep that because that is the cockpit texture for your virtual cockpit. You can also delete the thumbnail and the two things you want to copy into this folder is your texture for the 5 A320 Neo and your thumbnail. I'm just going to put that in there. And that's it. Now you're going to edit the aircraft config and change the title to something you would like. You just can write anything you want in here. Neo. Lufthansa, so, and uh, you have to delete the texture equals thing here because you are, I've renamed the texture and otherwise it won't uh, find the texture. You can change your ATC ID to the actual aircraft uh, call sign, or not call sign, a call sign. Uh, just the ITC ID basically and uh, the airline is also not Condor anymore it's Lufthansa now and basically change everything that's wrong in here so this can take a while to uh, change everything in here but uh, after a while you will have it done and also a problem coming up with if you wanna have realistic lights for example there is a strobe light effect in the Vibe A320 included which gives you a realistic um, strobe lights or more realistic Airbus strobe lights and uh, if you want to have those you will uh, also have your project Airbus strobe lights if you don't delete them out of the aircraft config in here. So you go down the lights, this is at line 562, and delete NAV green, NAV red, and the two strobes with the uh, same 
same data in here. This is both a minus 13.95 and there's the third strobe which says uh, minus 69.7 and the two with the same number in here also have to be deleted. After that you're fine, you will have no uh, redundant strobe lights. But uh, just save your aircraft config and that's basically it, you're done. And then just uh, put this folder here into the uh, FSX folder, Microsoft Games, FSX, then uh, you go to Sim Objects and Airplanes. There are actually some, some German folders, I'm, I'm from Germany, so... But you... I think you will recognize them on your PC if you're not. And you're gonna copy it into here. And this is my finished HD Journey Neo I've already done. And if you have done everything right and followed my instructions, then you'll have a A320 Neo including a virtual cockpit and some semi-realistic sounds and some uh, shitty texture but this texture is uh, it's just the fault of the texture, it's not the fault of anything else just download a high quality texture and you will have a A320 Neo that's basically it.